By 1985, we had a new coach and a new flying half. Mick Doyle had taken over and in the autumn had picked a team without a place kicker. It was an extraordinary selection. And then by fortuitous circumstances against Australia, Michael Kiernan became the place kicker for Ireland. And he was to have a dramatic effect in the home championship of that year when we won that second triple crown of the 80s. It opened in Murrayfield and it looked as if we were dead in the water. And then just in those final minutes, one of the finest tries probably in the history of Irish rugby. Brian Spillane was enormous on the left hand side of the pitch, keeping the ball in play. Then the wonderful hands of Paul Dean at fly half. And then Trevor England on that switch, scoring the great try in the corner to win the match for Ireland. Nobody again thinking, of course, about an elusive triple crown. But interestingly, snow and ice in Dublin had cancelled the England game. So we had to go to Wales. Kieran Fitzgerald is proving yet again what a great leader he is. And there's that marvellous moment before the Welsh game where the team link arms. Now it's pretty common practice for teams to go into huddles and to link arms for anthems. Not so in those days. Fitzgerald knew he was bringing his team into Cardiff, a cauldron for Ireland, a graveyard for Irish hopes in the past. Ireland trying to drive them back and get over it. It's there for Ireland. Bradley, Dean. Dean on the straight first, feeds it to Bradley. The kick through for Ringland. Ringland's racing after it. Try! Ringland's done it again. They're going to try the push over, but they can't get up the momentum. Davis runs on the short side. This is Davis. And to Lewis. He's in. Beautiful try. Bradley now to Dean. Dean to Ringland. Ringland still in possession. Back into Matthews. Matthews lays it up there for McCoy. Now Bradley. Now Dean. Now Mullen. Now McNeil. Now Crossan. Great try by Crossan, his first try for Ireland, and the Irish backs were brilliant. It was beautifully fed back. Dean to Mullen. Kane in that beautiful flick on. McNeil took it. Mullen was in support, but he didn't need Mullen because Crossan was in. And Crossan on the burst wasn't going to be stopped. Bradley, the kick for England, tries to keep it in play. It's an Irish line-out, but it'll never happen because the final whistle is gone and Ireland has beaten Wales by 21 points to nine. Kieran Fitzgerald salvages the ball. A famous win, Ireland's first win in Cardiff Arms Park since 1967. That's the scoreline that'll be remembered for many years. That extraordinary match, that great victory in Cardiff, which set up years of victory over what now became the hapless Welsh, led us to a triple crown. And as I said earlier, it shouldn't have been England. But fortuitously, because of snow and ice, England came here with the triple crown at stake. Now, if you want to win a triple crown, where better to do it than Lansdowne Road against the old enemy? Driving forward, that's Anderson, this is Bradley, Dean, long kick into the England 22, back goes Chris Martin, that as well, as Mullen blocks it, Brendan Mullen's going to score, try! Brendan Mullen has scored his first try for Ireland, using his pace beautifully, brilliant try, Brendan Mullen. Nicely controlled by the English forwards. Out to Andrew, Paul Dodge. Nice kick into space and after there's Rory Underwood and this could be danger for Ireland. Underwood's in. Very good try by Ireland. Or by England and of course Rory Underwood has leveled the scores. Jane Fitzgerald won.
wants his team to steady down, play it carefully and concentrate. Deny us, they almost did. And it's Rob Andrew to try to put England back in front. He's hit this one left and wide. It's still level. Disappointment for Rob Andrew. As we entered the last seconds of the game, a win, that elusive win to give us the mythical Triple Crown seemed beyond us. Then Brian Spillane makes a marvellous catch over Leinart. Lenahan charges up the middle of the field to set up the rock. And then Michael Kiernan emulating his uncle Tom, really, by bringing heroics to the game, drops a goal straight between the posts behind me. The Triple Crown is ours. Spillane gathers beautifully. In go the Irish forwards. This is Lenahan. Bursting into the 22, back to Bradley, back to Kiernan, the drop of goal is over! Michael Kiernan has done it! Michael Kiernan puts Ireland in front! And look at this for a charge by the Irish forwards. Donald Lennon it was, McCoy was with him. He barged into the 22, fed it back beautifully. Bradley had Kiernan there. He thought of the drop at goal, and it was straight and true. And Michael Kiernan has put Ireland on the Triple Crown trail. Well, we've had some excitement in the last five minutes of this game, but I can't remember anything quite as dramatic as this. The whistle's gone. Ireland have done it. 13 points to 10. Triple Crown, Michael Kiernan is the hero, there are 15 heroes out there, and quite honestly, words fail me just at the moment, sit back and enjoy it. We all put ourselves into the team, you know, everything we think of, you know, and thought of and ever did in rugby, uh, you commit yourself to 15 guys, okay? and they to each other, and that's what the team is about. Yeah.